Oh, what's up? We got, got a turkey and a deer. Who are you, Dr. Doolittle? Hey. <laughs> Let's look. This is the springtime. You never know what's going to show up. So you want to put them in the, put them in my barn? Yeah, we'll put them in there for the day, and then we'll get them. All right. I like working with Daniel because uh, he's he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's high energy, and uh, uh, kind of keeps me going. This is a, a turkey that I picked up from a lady. Wouldn't leave her house. And that's a little deer that uh, we get a lot of deer calls this time of year. So we take in all kinds of critters. We'll get her up a little bit bigger and release her in the fall. Put this in the case. So I guess your rehabbers are brim full? Yeah. I might end up taking them somewhere, but I've got a pen and stuff set up at the house. So you're just going to do it yourself? Yeah, more than likely. I've known Benny ever since uh, I graduated the academy or a little bit before, so going on nine, ten years now. He's a lot of fun. It's always interesting, and you never know what you're going to run into with him. Well, that ought to hold him until we get back. I think she's going to be all right. Let's roll. All right. On to bigger and better things. Today I'm headed to go meet Game Warden Joanne Garza Mayberry. Joanne's been in the county for many years, and she's been a big help in learning my district. Hi, good, how are you? It was killed this morning, right? Yeah. You going through the barn. Okay. Yeah. And they called you? Well, no, my pig got up. That's the reason I went over there. You got some chickens over there, too? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought it was a cobra. A cobra. Now that I see it in person, I think it's more of a coach whip. I think it's a western coach whip, too. You see how round the eyes are? Yeah. So it's a non-venomous snake because the eyes are real round. Right. And when they're more of an angle or a slit, that would be a venomous snake. And also, from what I've seen at reptile shows, the cobras, you know, they got more. They have that They hood. have way more of a hood. And right? I know you had mentioned that when it came up, that it came up hooded or ho uh, hooding what is what they call it. Yeah. Out. But every snake has that ability to flatten its head like that when it feels threatened with a, what would appear to be a hood. So, yeah, I don't think you have anything to worry about. It's not a cobra that got released or something. I think it's oh. just a Western. These are actually good snakes to have around the house because these will take all your mice and and uh, all your undesirables that are around the house. So, but it's a pretty snake. Yeah. You want it, you have it. <laughs> I'll go ahead and dispose of it for you, but thank you for bringing it. So it's good to be able to see these type of animals and then also to help you to identify it in the future when you see them out there. There we go. All right, we'll see you later. Take care. We're expecting over 20,000 people here on the river today. We're gonna to be here primarily for water safety, but also looking for people that are publicly intoxicated and any kind of drug use that may be on the river. Where you work out? In Guadalupe County, I just transferred, Great. yeah, from the coast. Yeah. Game wardens, we have statewide jurisdiction on all the public waterways in Texas, but today we're gonna to have outside agencies from surrounding counties come in and help us with the festival on the river. Do you do this every weekend? Yes. Oh my God. But it's not every weekend this credit. Yeah. It's very beneficial to work with the local game wardens and constables and kind of prepare myself uh, for the future when I have to work a busy weekend by myself on the river. I like a kayak. Just break it up a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Having fun? Yeah, I lost my glasses. Oh, that sucks. At least you got your hat, right? <laughs> hey guys, stay game warden. Y'all having fun? All right. Hey, what were you smoking? I saw you dump. Okay, okay. That's all I was wondering. You're good. All right, guys. Y'all be safe, okay? We do. Hey, hey, Joanne. Straight ahead. <laughs> How's it going? What do you have in your hand? Um, yeah. Go ahead and come That's over. Not a cigarette. To the side. Stick it in the water. We're gonna get it. Yeah. Do not throw in the water. Come on out. I'm not. I'm gonna put it in my hand. You're gonna come. Come with us. If you throw in the water, the destruction of evidence. Okay. Okay. Just wanna let you know. Take three. Better be honest with us at this point. Come on over here. Y'all can stand right here in the shade. 
In other states, uh, marijuana is legal, but in Texas, it is still illegal to possess marijuana. What's gonna happen is you'll be issued one citation for drug paraphernalia. So, it's a Class C ticket. We don't even have anything. Okay, well, you had you had a little... It sucks that I'm getting a ticket. Okay, that's fine. I came here just to have fun, and the ticket's really expensive. It's on the lower end baby, of the scale. Okay, baby. Let's... I feel bad for her, but she broke the law, and she's gonna have to take responsibility for her actions. It's a Class C ticket, so it's like a speeding ticket yeah. or seatbelt ticket, anything like that, okay? It could have gone a different route had y'all try to hide, hide the stuff, and all that. That's good. Like I said, I appreciate y'all's courtesy. That went a long way. I think they, they learned their lesson. Apparently, they got the marijuana from somebody along the river. What's up? What are you up to? I brought this bobcat. Yeah, we're gonna turn it loose? I think you he's think ready. he's ready? Oh, yeah. You I take a look at him. I think he's ready. We don't have any rehabbers in my county that are certified uh, through the state, so we t I typically take in animals uh, throughout the year. Uh, it was a very small kitten at the time that we received it. Yeah, he get a little size to him. He looked like he may be ready to go. I know he's ready. I tried to teach it how to hunt. He had a large enclosure, so I would release mice or rats into his cage. He actually escaped out of one of the enclosures and uh, eventually ended up taking down a few of my chickens, so I think he's ready for the wild. We'll run down here to the management area and we'll just turn him loose out there. Easy now, easy. There you go. Yeah, that ain't five minute drive over. He'll be good. Okay. Oh. Let me ask something, Daniel. Huh. Have you given this bobcat a name? Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. Okay. That's good. You're being respectful. Yeah. Every animal needs a name. Yeah. Didn't the mother get killed or something? Yeah, so as far as we know, the mama got killed and he was found wandering around when he was just a little kitten. What have you had, had him, it three weeks? I've had him for almost about a month now. A month? Yeah, and he was eating pretty good when I got him, so I think he's got enough spunk in him. He's ready to start hunting on his own, so. Daniel, this place I'm going to take him to is on one of our wildlife management areas. There's uh, several ponds in the area, there's a river runs through there. It's kind of a mixture of uh, grass and woods. There should be plenty of birds for him to pick off, and bugs, whatever else a bobcat eats. I think he'll do just fine there. I think he'll like it. We're gonna walk him in there. Bobby, you behave yourself. <laughs> you see how fast I was? I saw how fast he was. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, he is telling you about it. All right, Bobby. We'll do it the hard way. There he goes. Adios, amigos. Back to the wild. 